Coach, uh, closing out finals week here, so we've had a little bit of a break from action, um, but we're getting ready to play UW on Tuesday. So, you know, headed into that game, just talk a little. Start by talking a little bit about our uh, current four-game win streak. Uh, well, we just came out of practice at the end of finals week. Only, uh, you know, they took uh, four of the last six days off, and then we had a great practice today. So that had me really encouraged to see the guys uh, just eager to be on the floor with each other with great energy, and so. Uh, that's exciting and, and also really pleased with the reports I'm getting on how they all did in the classroom. So, uh, yeah, we haven't uh, tasted defeat in December yet. Uh, came back from Orlando with the win over Western Michigan and then defended the home court three different times. And so uh, I think parts of each game we look really, really good and parts of each of those games we really struggled. And so we're far from a finished product, but we're moving in the right direction, you know, and and now as we uh, move to kind of this next spot, so we're six and five, so that's a third of our games. Um, we've got the next couple weeks to really gel before we move into whack play, and and with those four games, we've got you know two quality mid-major teams coming in here, and then two top fifty. Uh, teams on the road and so I'm, I'm confident in the next two three weeks we'll learn the rest of the things we need to learn about us to to start conference play in a really good place um, but the mood of the team is right our health is pretty good right now um, and we're on a growth curve which really has me excited do you feel like you've settled on a lineup and rotation um, you know that was something that I, I tried to keep my mind real open to entering the season just because you know players can can change from year to year you know hopefully always for the better and and maybe some of the younger guys emerge and and so I felt like because of the, some of the injuries and things that were going on the first two three weeks of November it did give you know relatively everybody on the roster a, a chance to at least say hey this is what I did with the opportunity of playing time um, I think you've seen on different nights that that uh, when you look at the five guys that are pretty established in the starting lineup, you know, each of them have had some really big games. We need to get consistency out of them, but obviously Terrell's playing a really high level. Riley had a big night. Miles has had a big night. Our last game we really won with, led by Delonte and Morgan. And so uh, you've seen that all five of those starting players are capable of, of you know, double doubles and, and 20 point nights and, and more. Um, and then Aaron Nettles, I think, is, is obviously just a, a veteran player who's really entrenched off the bench. Uh, would have loved to play him a little bit more against Portland, but with Delonte and, and uh, Morgan playing that well, it wasn't as necessary, though. In the Idaho game, he came and gave us 15 great first half points. And so those three guys can all really shoot the ball and complement one another. So th there's depth there. And then uh, Terrell at the point with uh, TT and, and Riley and kind of how we do that rotation, I think, is, is really entrenched, though. I think TT's getting over his offseason injury and is starting to play a whole lot better. Riley coming off his wrist injury, so there's a lot of, of room there. And then the three big guys, uh, Miles, Jordan, and Anon. Um, I think that Miles uh, is capable of playing with a lot more consistency, but Jordan's been really nice coming off the bench. And then I know Anon will make uh, the most opportunities he gets. So you're nine deep right there, you know, with those three different rotations. And then uh, and then Trey and Rip, you know, I, I have big hopes and desires for them. And then you get the two freshmen and, and uh, Davi and Mikkel that um, we'll see how that comes. So uh, fair question, long answer, but uh, Everybody still has uh, an opportunity to to gain more playing time. That's for sure. Looking a little specific, more specifically at Tuesday and playing at Washington, just talk about what you've learned the past couple of years from a couple of really close close games up there. Well, uh, you know, in the final minute, both years we were right there in a one possession game. You know, the key is is being in the lead in a one possession game in the last minute, not. Uh, having to score to get a tie or having to score to maybe force a lead because we haven't been able to get that big bucket. Now, with that said, that's really, really hard on the road at UW to be in that position. Uh, but 
we need to try to get to a place where we're on the other side of that. Uh, and that is a whole lot easier said than done. Um, and then if we do get in that situation, it, they just require you to really execute at a really high level. Um, if you're going to get a win against you know a top 25 team at their place, uh, they're a super talented, super long team. Really impressed with the new guys that they brought in, and and then uh, Coach Hawkins does such a great job of getting them to play with super super high energy and and all pulling in the same direction. And and so we need to uh, we need to go and shoot the ball well. Uh, and that's something that those last two years teams. We're doing a lot better than we have this far into the year, um, and then you know capitalize on uh, the transition game off of turnovers, try to force maybe some more turnovers than we we normally do, and uh, and then really do a good job on the boards, which is a part of our identity. So all of those things need need to go our way and and require our, our great attention. The the big thing about getting to play. Uh, this game against UW every year is is it really holds you up to a really high standard to show you what you do need to improve at because they're really well coached and, and show you what you need to work on and uh, and show you where you're deficient and so uh, I'm, it's a good time December 17th to, to be playing a quality opponent like that. In a bigger picture how do you feel like you stack up with the rest of the WAC with the way things have been developing? Yeah, um, our conference, you know, even our part. I mean, last year we had a couple Pac-12 wins, you know, but um, the WAC, we haven't stepped up any of the nine schools and, and went and got that super quality win. Um, and so now we got a couple opportunities with, with UW and St. Mary's. And, uh, you know, I, I don't, I'm not familiar enough with everyone else's schedule to see if there's some other cracks at it. but. Uh, it, it kind of looks across the board like everybody is is still kind of forming the team that that they want to become, and no one has really snuck out and 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 shown that they were really ready November December. Um, and you know, I, it goes without saying, except it should be said, uh, is. You're all still chasing New Mexico State until somebody else shows something different, and uh, and so I watched uh, they had a home win over UTEP. I watched that game and, and thought that's a really good solid team, and so uh, you know that that's still the standard that we got to hold ourselves all against. Coach, any final thoughts? Uh, just Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, if you can get out here for the games on December 21 and 23, we'd love to see you. All the students will be away, and, and it'd be a, a nice way to spend a, a Christmas night. So we'll, we'll see you on those two nights. And uh, as far as I know, you, you can't get to the UW game. It's sold out, so watch it on TV and, and, uh, or listen to our uh, Dennis Patchett on the radio. Thanks.